In this video number 4 on algebra, we are going to learn what we call substitution. In mathematics, just like in English, substitution means replacement. Enjoy! As mentioned earlier, substitution is, means replacement. Just like a soccer game, uh, when you substitute a player, you are replacing the player with another player. So, in algebra, when you substitute a letter with a known number, you put a bracket around that number and then you put it in your calculator and you will get the answer. Let us look at some example. If, for example, we got a question that asks you to solve 3a minus b, when you know that a is equal to 2 and b equal to 7. So what you do? Very simple. Instead of A, you're going to put a 3. Instead of A, you're going to replace or substitute. So when you play, replace a number, you put a bracket. And you put, instead of A, you replace with 2. Close the bracket. And then you're going to minus the B, which is 7. Put another bracket. And close the bracket. And the last step, put in your calculator. So you're on your calculator, you put 3 bracket 2 bracket minus bracket 7 exactly what you do that and you put the equal sign and the answer is negative 1 we do another example same example with different numbers now okay so now if we have the same question 3a minus b and you know that a is minus 3 and b is minus 7 again you put a 3 there instead of a you're going to put a bracket, you're going to replace with minus 3, and then you're going to minus, the minus is still there, and instead of B, you're going to put a minus 7. So what's the next step? Put in your calculator. So we're going to put 3, bracket, minus 3, close bracket, minus bracket, minus 7, close bracket, and just equal, and the answer is negative 2. Simple, isn't it? Good. Now we shall do the substitution into a formula which we have done in many of the math questions. So for example, if you have the area of a triangle which is half base times height and you know the base is 10 and the height is 6, you want to find the area of a triangle. So you put the formula A equals to half times base times height and now we are going to replace the base which is a 10 so we're going to put a 10 the base is 10 and the height is 6 put in a bracket put in your calculator and the answer should give you 30 centim 30 an example this is to find the area the sum of a angles in a polygon the formula is the angle is n minus 2 times 180 so the formula is p is n minus 2 times 180 suppose you know that n the number of sides is 6 the next time you do you're going to substitute that number into the equation so now you're going to put instead of 6 you're going to put 6 minus 2 times 180 that means 6 minus 2 in a bracket is 4 times 180 and you put in your calculator is going to be 720 degrees good now we are going to look at two questions that was in the 2019 NCEA MCAT exam and we shall see whether you can get an achieve by using your calculator so the question is what is the value of 2x4 minus 3x plus 5? So I'm going to write the question here. The question is 2x4 minus 3x plus 5. Okay, when x is negative 2. So what you're going to do now, you're going to replace the x with negative 2. So 2 remains. And you're going to replace minus 2 into your equation. Minus 2. And there's a 4 there. And then you're going to put minus 3. You're going to replace x with another minus 2. And then the 5 will remain. 
and then the last step we're going to put in a calculator so we're going to on the calculator we're going to put two bracket minus two close bracket to the power of four okay and then we're going to minus three bracket negative two bracket and then we're going to plus five and we're going to put in a calculator and the answer is 43 and that will give you an achieve in mta level one now we're going to look at another example this is the paper b in the same year 2019 nca and we shall do that again so the equation is 3 y 4 minus 5 y plus 2 so what do you reckon you do you're going to substitute y equal to minus 2 into the equation so 3 remain we are going to put minus 2 into the equation minus 2 and there's a power of 4 and then minus 5 and we're going to replace the minus 2 with a y and 2 at the end of the equation and the last step we're going to put in a calculator so we're going to put 3 bracket minus 2 close bracket to the power of 4 and then we're going to minus 5 bracket minus 2 close bracket plus two and the last step put in the calculator and the answer is 60 and that will give you an achieve in level one yes hope you learned something about substitution today and keep practicing and you'll be a guru one day yes <laughs>